playing Minecraft Java Edition with a controller, whether it's an Xbox controller like this one, a PlayStation controller, a Nintendo Switch Pro controller, or any other controller that you can connect to your computer via USB or via Bluetooth, it should probably work here without much of any issue. And unfortunately, it's not as easy as just plugging the controller in and playing vanilla Minecraft. We will need to use a mod for this because vanilla Minecraft doesn't support controllers. You got to use a mod. Now, there's two main mods you could use. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to get controllable. This is for the Forge mod loader. That's because Forge is currently the most popular mod loader out there, but it's not the only mod loader out there. And that's where Midnight Controls comes in. This is also linked in the description down below, by the way. And this is available on Quilt and Fabric. So if you're looking for a ability to play this with quilt or fabric mods you want to use not forge well guess what midnight controls is here to help you out you would just add this alongside your other quilt or fabric mods and you're good to go you can start using midnight controls but for this video we are going to be using controllable forge here so let's go ahead and get it now all the links we mentioned in this video controllable midnight controls forge java everything you need it's in the links down below, so those are extremely important to go check out. But nonetheless, here we are. We have the controllable mod. What do we do to get it? Well, we click that link in the description, and it takes us here. This is the official controllable download page, and once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on Files. Then you want to find the version of controllable you want. For this video, we're going to be using 1.20 because it's the most recent version, but any version in the future, this should be relatively similar, and if it's not, well, we'll make sure that things are updated. Nevertheless, go ahead and click on the three dots next to the version you want and click download file. While this is downloading, come to us from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. At SGH, you will be able to set up your server in just a few minutes and be able to add mods, plugins, mod packs, or anything else you want to customize your server and make it your own. As far as your friends joining, it's as easy as sending them the IP address. And if you have any issues along the way, we've got live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft server the simple way. Anyway, here we are. We can see the controllable is downloaded in the bottom left. You want to keep or save that in the bottom left, depending on your browser. Keep it in the bottom left of Chrome. Save it in the center of your screen on Firefox. We then also need to download the framework. Well, just think of this like a framework mod. It's a mod that is needed and lays a framework for controllable to work. This is in the description down below, of course, and the process is the same. Click on Files, find the version you want. Our case is 1.20, but for you, it could be a future version, 1.30, or an older version, 1.18, for example. Find the one you want, though, and then go ahead and click the three dots on the right-hand side and click Download File. Once this is downloaded, again, you may need to keep or save it, and we can move on to Get Forge. Forge is obviously the mod loader that allows these mods to work in Minecraft. Now, we have an in-depth guide in the description on getting Forge. It goes over everything, including troubleshooting issues, frequently asked questions you may have. It's got a video, it's got a text guide, and it's always up to date to the most recent version of Minecraft. But once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the Download Forge button because we're going to be going over the basics in this video. Now, the important part here is that the Minecraft version you see here matches the one for the mod you're installing. So for us, that's 1.20.1. .1. If you were getting an older version, you know, 1.18 or whatever, Whatever, you can come over here to the left hand side and select that but for us that's going to be 1.20.1 .1 is what we want come under download recommended click installer and then it will take you off to add focus where stop just literally put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds after about 10 seconds a red skip button will appear in the top right then you want to go ahead and click on that red skip button and in the bottom left forge will start downloading you want to make sure that you keep Forge in the bottom left or save it the same for skin on Firefox. It's 100% safe to keep or save as long as Forge is in the title, which as you can see here, it is for us. From there, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Let's move everything to the desktop. We can find it in our downloads folder, so we'll just search for downloads here. There it is, and then here we have Forge, Framework, and Controllable. Let's move these to our desktop. Now to get started here, we're actually going to be working with Forge. That's because we need to install Forge in order to actually get these mods in Minecraft. So to do that, right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, we have the solution, and that's Java 17. It's in the description, and it goes over everything. Downloading Java 17, installing it, all of that is covered here, including troubleshooting any issues you may have. In some cases, an issue you may have is needing to run the jar fix. So this is also linked down below, and what this is going to do is take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, get Java 17, then run the jar fix, and then it'll be super easy to open up Forge. Just right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. 
This will open your mod system installer for Forge. Well, all you want to do is click install client and click OK. And guess what? Forge will then install right like so. Now, if you have any issues in this process, it may be because Minecraft's open or the Minecraft launcher is open. Make sure both of those are closed and then reinstall Forge. Or if you've never played Minecraft on the version of Forge you're installing. So in our case, if we had never played 1.20.1 before, vanilla without any mods or anything, this wouldn't work. So you need to go play that version without any mods. Just open it to the main menu, close out of it, and then you'll be good to go. As you can see here, it successfully installed Clown Profile Forge. Click OK and it closes out of that. Now we can delete Forge from our desktop. Let's get controllable installed to use our controller. Now to do this, we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, normally I would open the Minecraft launcher and show you how to do this with being able to get in game. But in some cases, I understand this is actually accessibility. So I'm going to show you how to do this without launching Minecraft because uh, from my understanding, it's pretty hard to navigate Minecraft without a controller if you don't have a controller and you need one. Does that make sense? And so what we want to do here is from this page, click installations at the top, then find your forge installation. Now, luckily we have one. You may need to select modded up here in the top right. As you can see, we can deselect modded. It goes away. If we select modded, it appears right like so. But if you don't have forge here, you can create a new installation. You can name whatever you want. I'm going to name it simple game hosting because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then we're going to go ahead and click the version drop down box here and select that release 1.20.1-forge version. I'm going to change resolution so you can see once we get in game and then go ahead and click create in the bottom right here. Now we have our Forge installation, either one that was there by default or the one that you created, it doesn't matter. Hover over it and then click the folder icon here on the right hand side. That's going to open up the .minecraft folder and then you should have a mods folder. But if you don't have one, like we don't have one, it's fine. Just right click, create a new folder and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Open up your mods folder and move framework and controllable over here into your mods folder, right like so. Close out of this and now play Minecraft. Again, either with the Forge installation that's there by default or the one you created, it doesn't matter which. Now when Minecraft opens up, we can just plug in our controller and it will work. I'll also show you how to install the mod quickly without using that method that I just used, but that method works perfectly fine. And it means that if accessibility is an issue, you don't have to open up Minecraft really until you've got your controller set up. Now, sure, I guess to install Forge, you need to open it one time, but luckily it's just open it and close it. You don't have to do anything in Minecraft in that case, meaning you don't have to do anything until you can use your controller. So here we are in game. Now, all we need to do to use this controller is actually just plug it in, right? So we just take the controller and we plug it in via USB here. And boom, instantly in game, we can see we have this little kind of like, what is this, a dongle sort of thing right here? Let's go ahead and zoom in and you'll be able to see that even better. Right there it is. That controls everything. We can go to mods here and sure enough on the left hand side, we can see framework and controllable. How would you install the mod by the way, without having to create your mods folder? You just simply come here and click on the open mods folder button there. That's going to open up your mods folder right like so. And then you can install the mods if you can access Minecraft and install the controllable mod that way. But nonetheless, we can go ahead and click done there. And one of the things I want to show you about a default here is if you go to options, you have this little controller icon on the right hand side. If you click on this, you can set up anything you want. You'll be able to see your controller. You'll also be able to see your settings. You can change what does everything. You can see how to do everything. You can change your bindings, all of that stuff. It's completely customizable. By default, it tries to be uh, very similar to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if we go ahead and we jump in game here, we'll be able to see that sure enough, this is working without any issue whatsoever. So we can double click in here. And yes, this will work on servers. So it works on the simple game hosting server here by default without having to do anything. And uh, yeah, we are now playing with a controller. We can right click to attack. We can left click to throw an egg in this case or place a block or anything like that. We can press Y to open up our inventory, Y to close our inventory. We can drop items with down. All of that stuff can be done very simply and just like very similarly to Bedrock Edition on console. You can switch your hotbar, by the way, using the left bumper and right bumper. And overall, things are just very, very similar to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to the XYZ slash SGH to start your very own Java Edition server. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.